I was taking pictures on my brand new iPhone XS yesterday and noticed something a bit peculiar. I was standing across the street from the studio and took a photo that captured the entirety of the building, sidewalk to sky, something I've never been able to do before. And I thought to myself, is this lens wider? This lens is wider, it has to be. I wasn't sure though. The reviews I'd watched didn't mention anything about this and neither did Apple on stage at the keynote. So I did the logical thing and did test shots with the new 10S side by side with the 10. And sure enough, the wide camera in the new iPhones is definitely wider than they were in previous iPhones. I set up the phones in such a way that the camera systems were more or less in the same spot, giving me virtually the same shot. I did this in portrait and landscape orientations with photos and videos. In the first example, I walked all the way across the frame. Notice that on the right of the camera store, I get caught off on the iPhone 10, and I'm still visible on the 10s. The next example, my shoes are in frame on the iPhone 10s, and they're a bit cut off on the 10. Look at how much of the building you can see up top versus on this shot, there's less. In this shot, the iPhone XS allows us to see the rim of the car in comparison to it barely being visible with the 10. In this example, the car is almost completely cut out of frame on the iPhone 10, whereas the iPhone XS shows it almost entirely. In this final test, notice how much of the logo you can see over my head on the 10s versus on the 10. Sure, you could argue that the difference is slight, and some of you may not have even noticed this on your new iPhone, but I think this is a big deal. The quote, wide angle camera on all previous iPhones has, to me, never been quite wide enough, hence why I use the moment case and often shoot with a lens. I've been waiting for Apple to go with a wider focal length on the main camera for a few generations now, and they finally have. John Gruber's review goes way into detail about the changes, and I recommend reading it if you got a new iPhone or are thinking about upgrading. But I'll leave you with this. The sensor in the new iPhone's wide camera is 30% larger, which allows it to gather 50% more light. That is a big difference. And yeah, this iPhone definitely takes the best photos an iPhone's ever been able to take.